Oh. No what? Your dog is alive! And I think Tim always felt like the Frankenstein story had so much more to it. There was a very rich mythology. And so he wanted to expand it and also include uh, an homage or a celebration of some of the great monster movies of the 1950s and 1960s Hollywood monster movies. That was reason enough to go remake the movie. And also the stop motion technique is really unusual. Not that many people do it and Tim loves the look of it. And, uh, and it fits the story. The story is about bringing things to life and actually taking puppets and bringing them to life is very much what the story is about. Victor, I need your help. I asked him first. My problem, Bigger. A lot of the character design is because that's Tim's handwriting. You know, that's what he draws like. So he has a very distinctive drawing style. This movie is particularly close to Tim. It's almost his story, uh, the story of when he was young and growing up in Southern California. So he designed the characters himself on this movie, and this is just the way he draws. He loves those tall characters with the big heads, and he loves that style of drawing. Uh, and that's why these characters are reminiscent of drawings you've seen before from Tim. To be able to take puppets and move them it seemed like it fit the Frankenstein story a lot, as opposed to drawing it or using a computer to do it. And there's a, there's a hand-done quality to it where you can see the fingerprints and you can feel the movement that is really appealing, I think, to the audience. You know, we, we all appreciate CG movies, but I think a hand-drawn, a hand, uh, a puppet film like this becomes really special to the audience because it's handmade. I can fix that.